Welcome to part 3 of my virtual reality development for absolute beginners series. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, make sure you start from the first video from my playlist and then follow along. The link to the playlist can be found below. Originally we started with the operating system layer and Apple made AR Kit and Google made AR Core and they were two different platforms that did effectively the same thing in very different ways and so Unity came along and said, oh, I can make one layer that unifies these things and if I build a Unity app then it runs on those two platforms. So if you built your app on Air Foundation, then it would run on Air Core Air Kit, you're good to go and you could still do this today. You can still write an app that just targets Air Foundation. Um, but then along came this thing called OpenXR, which was uh, awesome for the industry. And OpenXR was originally around VR headsets. So think the Vive, right? But eventually, other manufacturers did adopt this. Microsoft added uh, OpenXR support to HoloLens. Magic Leap has added support for it, etc. And so again, Unity said, oh, hey, now that we've got AR glasses, this looks like something we've done before, right? So they created the XR Interaction Toolkit. And this library gives you things like teleport, grab, video pass-through, uh, scene understanding, all these kind of building blocks for building mixed reality applications. But along the way, there's this uh, little company called Meta, and they've been building an SDK for a very long time. They had an SDK all the way back for you know, DK1, DK2 days, so long before Unity did all this stuff. And they've been building their own SDK all along. So you've got the Oculus Integration SDK. An Oculus Integration SDK has, oh look, pass through and grab and teleport. And what's interesting is that Meta at the foundational layer, their drivers are built on OpenXR. So they use OpenXR at the driver level, but their integration SDK, unfortunately, is not compatible with XRI. So Oculus Grab is different than XRI Grab. Um, so you can build an app on the Oculus SDK and it will run on Oculus devices and that's awesome, um, but you won't necessarily have the reach to the other devices. And I'll talk in a minute about why you would still want to do that. And Meta's not the only one kind of guilty of doing this. Uh, there's this little company called Apple that has done exactly the same thing. And you know, obviously it makes sense. They don't want to have their device or their SDK um, stuck waiting on a third party to develop their SDK. Um, but Apple has done some very different things in their SDK that aren't uh, currently available or aren't easily available. Um, you know, they've added Swift UI. Volume camera is different than what's in XRI. So there are some very interesting things in what Apple's doing. Okay, so if you want to know more about XRI, number one tip on XRI is that what comes in Unity in XRI is not everything you should know about XRI. Um, Unity has a sample project on GitHub that has way more resources in it than what you will just get by going in Unity and saying, build an XRI project. It has things like these wonderful you know, steering wheel and knobs and joysticks and sliders and uh, physically based push door with locking handle, uh, claw machine, ladders that you can physically climb or teleport up and down. So these are all things that are part of XRI, but in the sample package, <laughs> not in the library built into Unity. So make sure you check that out. Um, but probably one of the most important things about doing portable code to other devices is this package called XR Hands. And um, this is something that Unity developed with Microsoft back in the HoloLens two days, and it allows you to uh, interact with objects with your hands, pick them up, throw them, poke interactors, and all those sorts of things. Good news is that XRI now has been completely refactored in 3.0 to support this correctly. Click here for the next part in this series.